Hi guys, good evening. Hi Fatima. Hi. How are you? How was your day? It was um, very entertaining. <laughs> it was very entertaining. Why so? Tell me what happened. <laughs> eh, we have to, to solve with my um, team. We have to solve uh, so much problems with uh, software. We are testing a new software on our company and we found uh, a lot of errors. Wow. New errors today. I must imagine. So it was funny and at the same at the same same time uh, we we are discussed with the um we were Pro. discussing we were discussing with, with we were discussing with the provider provider mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes yes the provider or the vendor if they sold the vendor the, yes the vendor provider is whoever provides support but vendor is actually because you could have a vendor and a provider afterwards as well but vendor is actually the person who you purchase the product from yes uh, okay. Uh, in in our company, it it, it is named the vendor. You are vendor. Right. Okay. Yes. Wow. So yeah, it happens, right? It was really entertaining. Entertaining day. So you so they went by so fast that you didn't realize by the end of the day that it was time to go home, right? Like it went by so fast because you guys were into trying to resolve all the situations that you guys were were having and facing. Yes. Or thinking uh, what could be the cause of the error. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Well, I guess that, that is that something that you do like on an air, on a daily basis or is that something that just came along with a project you were working with? Is that like your everyday job or is just I don't know, just a little glitch on the way? Yeah, no, it's not it didn't happen all all the days. Every day, it doesn't happen every uh, day. Oh, okay. Every day, every mm -hmm. day. Yes. Uh, other days is other things. That's because I love my my <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah, I must imagine you. You sound very passionate about it. Uh huh. You seem very. Yes, I like it so much. I think that that I am in in how do you say in in lo que me gusta in su salsa so you're like really enjoying yeah you're good. you're like in your sauce no. <laughs> you are you are you're not working you're enjoying it mm -hmm. yes. you're, it's like you don't feel you're working say me i love teaching it for me it's not like it's not a real job i because it's something i really enjoy doing and sharing you know, um, material and sharing uh, resources and sharing knowledge is amazing. So yeah, you feel passionate about it. So you feel it's not really a job. It's more like it's fun, right? To do what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The link that you shared uh, yesterday is mm -hmm. is very interesting. Interesting. I, okay. like, I like it. Yes. That's good to know. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? Good evening. Hi, Sadi. Good evening. I'm how are you? Hi, Hennessy. Good evening. Hi. Great. Great. We were actually talking about, you know, Fatima was actually telling us that she works with, she was working with the software and she was having a lot of situations going on. So they were like breaking their head throughout the day. So it was an interesting day for them because they were like uh, trying to find the solution for what was going on, why the software was not running up, uh, properly, you know, back and forth with the vendor. So it was an interesting Thursday. What about you guys? How was your day, Ricardo? How was your day today? Uh, I had a very intense day at work. Intensive? With a lot of, uh, yeah, really intensive, but 
yeah, we are here, happy. <laughs> okay, so it was an intensive Thursday. Okay, great. So whenever they yeah. ask you, every day you can always answer. So how was your day? It was very intensive and interesting, um, quite awkward. So you can always come up with an adjective to answer back. And just not okay. to say fine, thank you, and you, you know. So try not to use a fine, thank you, and you anymore. Try to come up with that powerful word. Like it was intensive, it was hectic, it was chaotic, it was interesting, it was amazing, it was, you know. So, so in, in a way, we'll kind of describe and open up to a conversation with someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So it was intensive. Uh, yeah. Sadie, how are you? Good evening. Uh, good evening. How are you doing? Good. How was your day? Just uh, see. <gasps> oh no! Are you still at the airport or are you home? Well, uh, I'm still at the airport. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. A lot of news are going on, right, regarding the airport. A lot of chaos for you guys if you haven't checked out your social. So as you know, we have uh, two students that actually work at the airport. So imagine their, their day at day right now, right? Yeah, it, uh, as Ricardo, I guess, my day was intensive and chaotic. I must imagine. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully things are gonna, are going to go back to normal soon, hopefully. We hope to, we hope that situation going to improve. Yes. Okay. Stephanie, good we evening. Got, How was uh, We got that. Yeah, with that situation. Yeah. Well, let's hope that everything turns out okay. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Stephanie, good evening. Edu, good evening. How, how was your day? Hey. Hi, good evening. Hi, Steph. Well, my day was, was kind of stressful. But now I'm home, so I'm happy now. <laughs> okay, so you had a stressful day, stressful Thursday. Yeah. Okay, well, TGIF tomorrow, so thank God it's Friday tomorrow, right? Um, <laughs> so yay, you know, thank God it's Friday almost. Edu, right. good evening. <laughs> How good are evening. you? How was your hey. day? Hey, very good with a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But also today I have a test, but we the university doesn't go. Uh, they, yeah. They don't have the test. So, so you were but like okay. on the safe side, right? Exactly. Exactly. Had, had you studied for yes. your test, or like, were you already ready for it, or not? <laughs> honestly. Uh, the truth. <laughs> honestly. Nah. More or less. <laughs> no, no, no. For more or less. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Okay, Ronnie, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. You? Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Yeah, nice. I work here today, every day. Okay, great. Well, I heard a couple of words. Nice, interesting, hectic, chaotic, intensive. Okay. So, well, we all, as you can see, we all have different days because we all work in different areas. Um, but the good thing is that we're here. Tomorrow's Friday. It's almost weekend. So, payday tomorrow, guys, I guess for some of you, if you get paid Not on the 15th me. or on the 15th, <laughs> I think it's payday tomorrow for a lot of you. Or for some of you, maybe until the end of the month or maybe like on the 20th. Um, and so, today... We're going to be talking about neighbors. Today our topic is neighbors. Um, and I have a couple of questions. So uh, it's like more like an introspective analysis of prior to our reading comprehension activity that we have. So are you a good neighbor? My first question is. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you have to explain how so. Like if you say I'm a good neighbor because I... And you have to give me like a couple of examples of why you consider you're a good neighbor. What good things do you do that you consider are good and that would put you in that category as a good neighbor? Hmm. 
made you think, right? Huh? I think that not expecting uh, it. I I I am not uh so good neighbor because I didn't know the name of my neighbors. I don't know. Okay. I don't know the name of your neighbors. No, I, sorry, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I almost cross words with them. Um, we we only sometimes we only use our houses like a, a room. Um, how do you say uh, uh, dormitorio? Our bed, just as a bedroom, perhaps. Uh huh. Yes, because all the day we we are not here. Uh -huh, you're never and home. I. Yes, yeah, so I I know her uh, them faces. He, her and his faces, but okay. I don't know their name. The name of my neighbors, <laughs> but okay. I didn't annoy. I didn't, I, I don't, um, I'm not annoying. <laughs> I'm not an uh, annoying neighbor. I, I'm not an annoying neighbor. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. I'm not an annoying neighbor. Um, okay. So I think that I am so-so. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Anybody else? How do you consider yourself a good neighbor, a so-so neighbor? A not so bad neighbor or a very bad neighbor. A grumpy or grinch neighbor. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, I, I feel uh, um, that I am a good neighbor because I always say hi to, to the people around. Always uh -huh. say good morning, good, good night when I come home, mm -hmm. and I try to to be friendly with them, and I know uh, the names of practically all my neighbors of my community because it's not a a big community, okay. and I think I'm well. The, the fact that I say hi to everyone, I think that must be that I'm kind of polite. And okay. um, there are some bad neighbors that I think that they are bad neighbors, but I always say hi and I try to cooperate with all of them. But um, when it's uh, about that, bad neighbors i try to not involve involve too much with them mm -hmm. but okay. um with conflict honestly for uh-huh exactly so uh, maybe i can say that i'm in that way i'm so so okay Thank you. Thank you for being honest. Anybody else? I've actually been, um, I've, I've just projected a couple of traits or things that you can consider whenever putting yourself into a category, whether you're a good neighbor or not. So whether you apologize whenever you make a mistake or um, when you're not pinpointing at people, when you're cooperating, if you see somebody doing something, you just be, you're quite proactive or when you're friendly, just waving hi and just, hey, so how's your day or you know just trying to open up a small conversation um or when you are polite when you just respect their space <laughs> not parking we're not supposed to sometimes it happens um and things like that so anybody else wants to give their opinion whether they're good neighbors or not <laughs> it's a difficult question. It's a difficult question to answer, right? Uh huh. Sorry, I, I I was talking, but I was on mute. Oh, yeah, okay. I <laughs> I think I'm, I'm a good neighbor um, because I how do you say? Saludo a todos. 
I greet, like here, it's here. Um, when you greet people, this one, where I'm, I'm pointing my mouse right okay. now. You greet other people. Huh? I, I greet, greet to, to everyone. I greet everyone. Yeah, I greet to everyone. Without the two. I cooperate with everything that, when, when I can, if I can do something for them, I, I, I do it um, happily. Okay. Um, I, I like to to help uh, other people, um, and yeah, I think I, I'm a good neighbor for that th reasons. Okay, great. Thank you, Ricardo. Wilbur, good evening. Are you a good neighbor? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I think a uh, good neighbor, for example. Uh, to give the good morning to greet mm -hmm. and uh, uh, maybe to uh, to help uh, help to <coughs> to the to the neighbor or vecino mm -hmm. no? yeah, uh, for example to clean the <coughs> de la acera no sé cómo dice sidewalk Sidewalk, very good, very good. Sidewalk, sidewalk. I'm gonna write it on the chat. Okay. Uh, sidewalk. Okay. On. Okay, great, thank you. Now that you're mentioning that, yeah, it happens, it has happened to me. I have a very big almendro tree, which is my small long outside my house. Um, and it actually gets my neighbors both left and right sidewalk dirty. And since it's a big shade, because I love the shade, so I, that's the reason why I never trim it. I cut it or trim it. So I always sweep, you know, for them. So I go to their sidewalk and, and, and to the other sidewalk. And I do it, even though I do it sometimes even twice a, twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon. And I just feel responsible for it for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if you guys do that with other neighbors, like, or it's just me the one doing things like that for other people but i just you know, i feel responsible for for the trees all over the place yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shame when you when something that is is in your home it uh, looks like um uh, come on, how do you say ensuciar dirty yeah uh -huh, get dirty the sidewalk Mm -hmm. Is it <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's true. Now let's go on the other side. Now let's talk about clean it. And you must clean it. Yeah. And you feel responsible for it. Now let's talk about being a bad neighbor. It's easy to, if you notice, it was difficult for you to come up with positive statements about being a good neighbor because we're always looking at the dark side or the bad side or the negative side of it. So tell me what are like some caress characteristics or traits that make a neighbor be a bad neighbor something well i think i think that one of the items that made a bad neighbor if is is if they have a pet and they uh, go walk outside with the pet, and the pet made made his made its um, necessities. Necessities, <laughs> and they yeah, didn't clean. So specific, huh? <laughs> uh huh? Yeah. And they and they don't clean. Yeah, and they're not responsible for it. So that can make a neighbor. Uh, maybe good neighbor turn into a bad neighbor. Okay, when they don't clean uh, their pets, after, when they don't mm. clean, you can say when they don't clean after their pet, and people understand. If you say just this, clean after their pet. So it's uh, it's se sobreentiende. Okay. You can actually understand that it's because they have done their necessities. Uh huh. They clean after their pet. One of the things personally that I dislike. Uh -huh, clean after their pet. If you're talking about them, but if you're talking about your own pets, 
I usually clean after my pet. Uh, so, you know, if they did something, okay. you clean after because it's, says what I'm in English, it's a phrase yeah. to, to actually say that he did something and I'm going to clean it up. Perfectly <laughs> possible for it. One of the things that I perhaps I dislike about my neighbors, but it's just maybe, it's just something very personal. I don't like people honking at other people like for them to come uh -huh. out. I don't know that yes. to move uh, or, or to move something or come out. Maybe like the honk. I dislike it because I feel it's very rude. Like, like if you come and they start honking from, you know, I live in a, in a, in a private place. And so there's like more than 20, 22 or 25 houses. So um, all the way from the end of the street, they start honking all the way at the end. Doot, 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 doot. And they come here like, you know, the micro is at 6 a.m. It's okay Aww. because it's for kids. But when they do it and they stop in front of the but house. you have kids, it's worse. It. Yeah. And when you have kids, it's, it's uh, you understand when the micro is doing it at 6 in the morning. <laughs> when they just get asleep and they <laughs> No, no, no. It's and they don't have a they don't yes. have a, a nice honk. They have that I don't know a very loud trumpet <laughs> honk, right? So I don't know, but I guess it's just me because they could actually call the person to come out or text the person, but then honk and they continue honking and honking and honking, and if that person doesn't come out, they 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 do -doo, a very long honk. I don't know. I guess it's just me, or are you guys? Also, do you guys also get annoyed by honks? Honky neighbors. I think uh, another, another, another thing is when, when they park their they cars and they block when you try to get out of your house and you have to go to the house and knock the, the, knock the door and ask for the, and ask car? them for, for move the car. To move the car. Yeah, you're right. And they it's, took their time. They take their time mm -hmm. to do it, to do that action, to go outside and move the car. Exactly. <clears throat> whenever they're having a party or whenever they're having, I think that that's the reason why it's nice to be a good neighbor. You have a good communication, then you can go and, would it be okay if I park my car here, you know, to ask first prior to uh, because what happens is that if you get the surprise, like surprise, my my sidewalk is blocked and I can't actually move my car. So that's what gets you upset as an upset neighbor. And then you get it personal with the neighbor. But if the neighbor was to come and tell you, okay, you know, would you mind if I, it's my son's birthday or my birthday and some friends are coming over. Would you mind if I park a car in front of your house just for a couple of hours? I mean, if you ask permission, that would be nice, right? But then get the surprise of having a car blocking your house is not really nice. Not everybody takes it in a good way. It happened yeah. during my neighbor because the, sometimes uh, there is a party in a house, so everyone come and there are one, two, three, four, five cars mm -hmm. blocking the street for the parties. Yes. <laughs> so they use your parking or in front of your house. Mm -hmm. and exactly. Get a little, a little disgust, dislike. So. Yeah, you get, you get quite annoyed. Any other characteristic before we do the reading comprehension exercise that you can recall or tell me about being a bad neighbor or things that you dislike about neighbors? Um, maybe that some neighbors uh, likes to to put music on a very 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 night very late in night yes and very late some of, of us try to try to sleep with um, early and wants to go to work in the morning but it's hard with with that kind of annoying sound in in the nights. Okay. You're totally right about that. And actually, uh, I think that 
especially when uh, when you live in a place that uh, houses are are very close to one another. You know, like you can literally listen even if the neighbor is at the kitchen trying to cook something. Like especially when it's small places, like in apartments, for example, like people who live in apartments like very close to one another. Like so, uh, having loud music. It's, 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 yeah, I, I can tell, I can, I can relate. It kind of uh, can upset anybody. It, it's okay, like for Christmas or whenever they're having, then again, apart. But if it's like every weekend, like, okay, or every 15 days <laughs> or every time it's payday, like, I know mm -hmm. you a little bit upset. Okay. Okay, guys. So what we're going to be doing right now is, um, if you, has everybody had the opportunity to log into the platform? Already? Yes. yes. Okay. So yes. I'm going to place you guys into groups because yes. I want you to do this activity. It's the 1.11, which is a reading exercise, neighbor versus neighbor. Okay. So um, you're going to read the article, okay, among you. So I want you to open it up because I'm going to put you into groups so you can do the activity. First, you're going to read the article and then you're going to uh, answer the questions that you have below and then we're gonna go over them and I hope you get a very good score once you finish okay so that's what you're gonna do you're gonna click submit to check on what your score is so whenever I place you on 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 the groups please click accept so you can go to your group and do the activity um, have it handy that way you can guys read it and you can actually go over the vocabulary. Then I'm going to break you back to the main screen and we're going to be discussing the words together, okay? Okay. okay let me place okay. you on break rooms right now. Just going to make three break rooms. Then accept, please. Are you guys doing the activity together? I don't listen to you talking. Sorry, what? I want you what guys to do the going activity. To do? Yes, you're going to project the image of, one of you can be the leader of the team and project the worksheet so we can do it, you guys can do it all together. What exercise 1.9. 1.9. 1.9. Nine. nine it's this one yes it's 1.9 on the on the platform so it's, it's this the, one. The one i'm sorry i'm sorry 11 111 i'm yes. sorry i'm sorry yeah 111 so the idea is for you to read it together okay take turns reading and then uh answer the questions together okay okay we're gonna be read back together 
Yes, and have somebody project it because I'm I'm leaving the group and I'm uh, going to another. Yes. The idea is for you to share the I screen. Can share, I can share my screen. Okay, great. Go ahead. I'm going to stop sharing. That way you can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can all do the activity. Mm -hmm. Can you see it, guys? Yes, we can. I can see. I can see. Yes. Remember, remember that I need somebody to share the screen. Okay, I need one of you to share the screen. That way, you guys have have access to the exercise to do it together and, and read it out through. Someone, somebody, uh, can somebody share the screen? What is the screen feature? It's on the bottom where you have the chat, pause, stop, where you have all the buttons. And I want you to share exercise this one, like the one that I'm sharing right now. 111, so the idea is to have, for you guys to all read it, take turns reading the lecture or reading the reading comprehension exercise and then answering the okay. question. Can somebody project it? Can you guys project it, one of you? I'm going to, no, teacher. <laughs> so you can project it. I project, but I, I need to. Yes, please project, okay. The idea is for one of you to project it because I'm, I'm jumping from one group to another. So the idea is for that, for you to do that, for you to actually uh, project it. So you can do the exercise together. Okay. <clears throat> Who's going to do it? Bea or Sari or Sara or Edu? Who's going to be projecting the screen, sharing uh, the screen? Uh, I can do it. I cannot. He can do it uh, because he is in, in, on work. Ah, I'm okay. Work. I'm looking, looking for in, in I, um, bueno, lo voy a decir mejor en español ahorita. <laughs> me acabo de conectar porque estoy enferma, me quedé dormida, estoy hasta incapacitada. <laughs> Pero me, me di cuenta y dije, ah, corramos. Or let me send you. Yeah. Let me I send you. It. It's 111, okay? Okay. Ah, okay, 111, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Thank you. I can. Ah, okay, Bea, can you project it? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Share I your have. screen. Click on share screen on the bottom. And the on one nine, one ten and one eleven. Okay, um, okay. The reading is about. Um, I'm going to re read for you too. This but the idea is, is for you to look at the screen. Can you project? Can you click on the option, uh, share screen, so everybody is able oh, okay. to see the, the the reading and the exercise. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, can I or, or, or you okay. Or Bea, either or, Bea or Sara. Mm -hmm. Either or can do it. Mm -hmm. You girls can do it. Okay. I have it. Okay, the screen is here. I took a screen thinker. I guess that is that. Are you able to project? Yes, I, I'm looking for it. Just okay. give me a second and I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, that's here. Okay, I found my computer. There is. You there can you watch it. Can you see it? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We can. Who is going to read? You can we take turns if you want. You can take turns with paragraphs. One paragraph, okay. one, and the other one like that. Mm -hmm. 
if you want, I'm going to read the black person. The more black, yes. Uh, neighbor versus neighbor. Read. Oh, you didn't see my, my I shared the screen. Yeah, I, I came at, at the at the end. I didn't read it. Uh, if you want it, I can share it again. Okay, please. Do you see it? Yes, I can see it. But you have already read it, yes. right? Okay, just go ahead and continue with the activity. The other, the other guys. You can take turns, like each one can read a paragraph. Where are you at right now? I, I finished the... The reading. The read. I don't okay. know the other. So let's go ahead and if you want to the exercise uh, below, if you're ready. Um, guys, do you have any questions like in regards to the reading? Do you have any questions with vocabulary words that you might feel not really comfortable with or that are new for you? And there is a part that say it says in the one, two, three. Just four, show it with show your mouth. Part. I can see it. Ah, okay. Compliment. Compliment, uh -huh. compliment, compliment or ch yeah. children. Mm -hmm. What does mean? It's compliment. It's um, for example, when you find a when you find a person in your life and you feel that's a very good match for you, you would say, oh, this is my compliment. Like it actually, like a yin yang, right? Like you guys are opposites and you compliment in so many different aspects. So that's to compliment. It's when you find that perfect match. Or when you give something additional to a person as well, that uh, let's say that person's at and that eighty percent and needs a twenty percent to actually achieve that at one hundred percent. So you need to give that twenty percent as a compliment to that person to achieve that one hundred percent. That it's extra, like, like an extra. Them, treat them right. Yes, treat them right. Compliment and also in in another way. Now compliment also with people as a trait or as a characteristic is whenever you say something nice, like, hey, your flowers are looking nice. Wow, your roses are already bloomed. Or, wow, um, you know, to say something nice to a neighbor about the environment that you guys are in in that moment. Often they don't even know what they are getting on. Okay. So if you, if you, go down you would have the words and then you have to come up with the definition for each of uh, the words the one that would fit the most so wilbert eliezer hello good evening ricardo and genesis are in your group so you guys have to do it together for example resentment what would go along with resentment a way of behaving anger that grows over time end of a problem or difficulty on purpose a step taken in order to achieve something or bother or annoy so all of you have to agree to one and then that's going to be okay. the answer and then you click submit okay for i think that resentment anger that grows over time for resentment i think is anger that grows over time yeah i agree with that too I have to share, do I have to share the platform with the questions? Yeah, everybody yeah, should be you're doing, doing it. On their own. You're doing it, but everybody in their platform, in their computers or in their cell phone should be doing it as well. So they click submit. The idea is for everybody to complete the exercise right now. Um, so you, click, you all click submit on your each one platform, but you needed to project one in order to be able to read it going to do it and I'm, I'm taking the screen <clears throat> okay I'm finished and I'm going to share the first two because um, <clears throat> 
Okay, the first two is here. Okay, can you see it? Okay, can you watch it? Yes. No listen to me. A way of behaving. Yes, I can see. Resentment. In, in, in your resentment. Resentment. A way of behaving. Anger that grows over time and a problem of difficult on purpose as to taking in order to no is that B or the second? Or the anger second. that yeah. grows over time. Oh, yes. Your anger is growing and time. growing and growing up. Okay. For me is the, the, the first one. The first one. Well. Mm -hmm. Remember that each and every one of you should be uh, clicking on the option on your platform, okay? So you should be doing, at the end of the exercise, all of you should have uh, it all. Ah, okay. Uh, so everybody's going to be doing it individually, but you're doing it as a whole, as a group. Okay. 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 Hey. The, the question number two, the worry is the... Deliberately. Deliberately. Whenever you have long words in English, you shrink them. So you make them like shorter. So it's deliberately. 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 Yes, I'm going to write it down. Okay. It's the pronunciation. Deliberately is... Deliberately. Deliberately, something like that. Deliberately. It means on purpose. Deliberately. Deliberately. Yes, yes, it's on purpose. Yes. Number three, ir irritate. Approach or irritate. 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 Bother or annoy? I think it's bother or annoy. Mm What happened? You're like, click, click, click. You're all in silence. What <clears> happened, guys? <throat> I can do the, the third we one. We answer that. You answer all of them? No, I can't read the, the third one. Ah, OK. Just Irritate. Irritate. Irritated. Border or, or annoying? It is okay. border or annoying? Okay. It's the last one. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and try to share the screen with you. Here, irritate. You're in number two, three. Irritate. Okay. Bother or annoy. That's what you guys came up with. Okay. And then you're going to do number four, right? Measure. What's measure? Measure the four. Is yes, a step taken in order to achieve? I don't know how okay, so can you say achieve. Something. Yes, achieve. 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 Okay. Achieve. achieve. Let me write it on the chat. The pronunciation. Um, where's the chat? Achieve. Manner. Manner. Achieve. Achieve like this. Achieve. Uh, achieve. Lograr. Is the, is the five. That's the pronunciation. Achieve. Okay. Achieve. 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 It's like a chew, a chew, uh -huh. like a chew. It's a... Bless Very you. good. I like I like that 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 how you <laughs> put it into context with this with a Spanish word or a sound. Very good. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're welcome. I guess. <laughs> I just to make it funny. I in class whenever I'm in class and 
you know, people have difficulty saying chocolate. So I always relate it to something very Salvadoran. So I say, chancleta, it's chocolate, like chancleta. So I relate it to, uh, you know, for them to remember that cha sound, not chocolate, or, you know, it's chocolate, or, yeah. That's true. But thank you, I'm going to use a chew for a chief. Uh, I'm an instructor of uh, informatica, informatics, uh -huh, and, I I, and I do something like that. I, I say something, okay, it's a command, a command of AutoCAD, and mm -hmm. it's SCP, and it's so important to change the um, ejes, I don't know how can I say in Spanish, in English, pero son los ejes X y Y, los pueden ir acomodando, y le digo SCP, SCP, y le digo, Sara con patas, le digo yo, para que se acuerden toda la vida, le digo. SCP, ay, es un chiste, es, it's a joke to everybody, to, ay, no, teacher, no, no, no. <laughs> and it's great but, because you have to come up with, yeah, and, and that way you always have it in mind, oh, yeah, like, is it a chuco sound, yes. is it a chalata sound, okay. so I always tell them that because it, it's important to, okay. to identify with the first, it's, it's uh, something with Spanish, Spanish to, re yeah. to compare it and, and remember before. Contrast. No, after, after, because I'm sure. so sorry. <laughs> okay, great. So, yeah, that's actually it. Then you go to number five. What's number five? Manner. Okay, okay. Manner. A, a, a way, way of, of behaving. behaving. A way of behaving. Mm, okay. What about resolve? What do you guys think it is? In, In a problem or dif difficulty. Very good, Ben. Mm -hmm. And the problem or difficulty. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Well, I'll take you back to the main screen and we're going to go over the answers to see if everybody has them correct. I'll do it with you guys and then we'll check on your scores. Click submit if you feel comfortable with your results and I'm going to do it with everybody once we're all together, okay? See you in a bit. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, we are here, teacher. Okay, just waiting for the rest. Because I have seven. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to go over the answers together. Okay, I'll do it with you. I'm going to go by your choices, okay, based on what you guys did when you were in groups. Let's go with the first one. Resentment. What's your answer for resentment? What's your definition for resentment? A way of behaving, anger that grows Ooh. over time. And the problem or difficulty on purpose, a step taken in order to achieve something or bother or annoy. What do you guys have? Anger. The first anger that time. grows over time. Excellent. Anger that grows okay. over time. The second one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Deliberately. Remember, I was telling some of the some of you guys. On purpose. Whenever you have. On purpose. When you have. <laughs> A long word in English, you have to shrink it. So you, I wrote it on the chat, the pronunciation, so you don't say deliver, de, deliberately, you have to shrink the sound. So you don't say comfortable, you say comfortable. You don't say deliberately, you say deliberately. So when you have long words in English, deliberately. Deliberately. Like libret. Deliberately. Libreta. Libretly. Deliberately. Deliberate. 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 
Libret. Libret. Like libreta without the A. Uh, uh -huh. Libret. Deliberately. Deliberately. <laughs> so, what would be the answer for it? De la librería. De la librería. Or libreta. Yeah. On purpose. Would, on purpose? Yeah. On purpose. Yes. Was on purpose. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. I'll try I wanted my, my, my 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I rate. Okay. What do you guys think I rate is? Bother or annoying. Bother or annoying? The last one. Okay, we'll see. What about measure? What's measure? A step taken in order to achieve something. Blessings. Achieve something. Okay. What about manner? A way of behaving. A way of behaving? Yeah. This one? Yes. Okay. Yes. And resolve. What's resolve? And a problem or difficulty. The third one. And the problem or yes. difficulty. Okay. Let me see. I'll click submit. I'm a student too. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> we very have good. a thing. Yeah. If you guys were here, like in my classes, I usually give candies. I would give candies to you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> in every single uh, class. I usually I in every single it. <laughs> no, for real. In every you single class. Better. You something, can ask. Something you you, you can must follow me on my one, WhatsApp status. You um, must I usually say one read. by one. Yes. And when I That's give the opportunity. If I get the opportunity to meet you guys, you're gonna see, you can ask my classes that actually go to English Corporativo there. Every single day I take them candies. Every single day, whether it's 6 a.m. or 5 p.m. So I owe you guys candy because you guys deserve no. it. At what time? Teacher, have you you must to save one by one and, and, they, and take them and give us. Show in them the future. Money. Show so them if money. you have, if you have, but this is what I can do. If you have partners that work in your company that actually go to Inglés Corporativo on a physical class, tell them to look for me and I send candies with them to you. Okay? That's something we can do. No, everybody That's an alternative. Is online. <laughs> Everybody's online. You never see the candies. Yes, everybody's yeah, online. I can, I can actually give you guys, because I usually give candies every single day. This week, we, we had jellies, you know, the jellies, las gelatinas, that they sell at Price Mart. I have a whole bottle of them. I'm serious. No, I'm serious. don't be mean. Don't be cruel. I'm not. Don't I'm also, say that. Don't say but that. But if I meet I'm you guys, I pinky promise. <laughs> I pinky promise I'll send you guys candies, okay? I'll give you guys candy someday. Oh, guys. But, but if you if you send it with someone with that work with us with us, we we'll never see the candies. But I can give that person candies and then send you a little bag too of candy. So it could be you know a win yeah. situation. I can give them and then give you know you guys. Still not fair. Guys, have a fantastic weekend. Today was our this was our first week. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you guys logging in every single day for this sessions. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, I I hope to see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, eat pupusas on Sundays with your families. Please don't forget. It's very important. <laughs> We're pupusas lovers, so we have to eat pupusas on weekends. And uh, please work on your platform, okay? You can you can go ahead of us. I mean. You have an entire month, but if you have the time to do it, go ahead. The idea is that every week we're going to be covering like a unit or some of the topics for each unit that I, I consider that we need to go over and work together online. The idea is more to talk than then you have time to just complete the flat platform on your on your available time. Thank you very much. Blessings. Thank you to you. Have a wonderful you. night. Okay. Good night Cheers. and happy. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Night, night. Thank you, sleep tight. Bye, bye. Good night. Okay. Salud, pues. Later. Salud. <laughs> bye. Bye.